Hello with you Alice and now we have with you the third part under the general title Discoveries of Vastu. These are my discoveries to which I came when I looked at the design of houses built according to the science of Vastu, how they are equipped, how they give people energy. When it doesn't boil down to any trifles, it's still the house of vast science is harmony in general. And I stumbled while studying. Now, there is a world famous decorator, Kelly Hopen, which builds incredible atmospheric projects. Moreover, she is a decorator. She always says that the main thing texture and color. There is, of course, the rhythm or the room, the form, it also works with it, but she is decorator. And she said about 20 years ago that the most important thing in the interior is the connection of people with nature. And she said no more, no less about her interest than silk is water, velvet is earth, glass is like air. Or water and so on. She felt it deep. Tap it in the Google, uh, you will see and feel it. So its interiors are very harmonious. Her chandelier looks like drops of water and below as a bowl and we seem to unconsciously draw water into the bowl. Very sensual or or metal insert that run along the runway and next to metal inserts a textured wood friable warm like earth and all together is if streams run along the ground in the early morning these are all incredible feelings you travel with her to this corner of nature so i look at the interiors of the vastu science and what do i see all the interiors can open built on the science of Vastu. But it does not complicate understanding. It emphasizes the connection with nature. After all, the most important thing is why people decorating their home. They want to feel their home with feelings. People want just a vase, but a vase with meaning. Because just a vase is nonsense. There is. When a person consciously refers to his home, he wants it this way. He looked at the picture and she fills him with feelings. Look at his interior and he fills him with feelings too. And now, Kyle Hopen, it turns out, is building all her projects according to Vastu. But she took from there the main feature, the laws of nature. For example, why should the curtains in the south be denser? Because there, when it's on the south side of the sky, the most radiation is from the sun, therefore the curtains are thick and so on. And the main meaning is harmony with nature. The only difference is that she loves the monochrome combination and this is already her signature handwriting. Well, I don't. Of course, she is an English decorator and in England stunning gardens. There is a very suitable climate for this. Roses bloom there in winter. Imagine, here you go past St. Paul's Cathedral and there the roses bloom and this is at Christmas. Where did you see it? Or Jamie Oliver is my favorite English cook. He lives in London and he has such a beautiful garden that even in winter he runs out into the garden, some, something tears there from the bash and then crumbles it into a salad. Paradise, right? That's how they live interestingly. Therefore, England, of course, is full of colors. Maybe that's why they can live on a background of a monochrome interiors. In her clients, there are famous people. Her projects are not cheap. This should be understood. But there are many designs. But such an owned harmony about which she speaks a streamlet, a leaf, grass, stump, sand in such simple words. And harmony walks. Check out your designs. I want you to feel such a delicate moment with me. But for Russia, I would recommend, of course, 
color, because we all travel on trips exactly for the color. If we fly somewhere to some beautiful country and the sky will always be gray and the color is gray, we are upset and say that we did not feel the city completely, we did not have enough. We need color. We are filled with color emotions. Emotion is not gray, it's bright, she has a color. Gray is needed for composer, for rhythm. Again, on his background, all colors look brighter. He uh, illuminates them. Yes, its monochrome interiors are the first difference. And now, look at the moment, her interiors are completely vast. It can be seen only since we live in the modern world, she uses modern materials. There is not braided and all all in this braided. She takes the legs or face, takes the glass, she takes some incredible modern nets on the window. She has textiles in her feelings. Ella Hopen wants to give feeling and this is what people need. I will even say more. Recently there was a show of our Carl Lagerfeld, the head of the house of Coco Chanel, and what did he do? If earlier we watched fashion and was a track, a podium, backlight, what now? Now, in general, this trend the whole world begins to feel. People try to find talent in themselves. Why? People are tired of the war and constantly share something. They want to enjoy this world. Therefore, the trend in when people find their talents inside, someone starts photographing the beauty of the world, someone embroiders, someone searches himself in a drawing. People want to feel. They understand that the world is fulfilling. So, Karl Lagerfeld, he also understand it all. He built a hug hangar in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. I'll show you this photo at the end. He poured sand into this hangar. He designed the side walls with a photo print depicting the sea. He is this sand which uh, directly lay with hill lies richly because feelings are when it's rich, not a bit but a lot. He put a fence in there, so coastal, cute, learning a little. He placed the grass there. People in this sand planted, in some places created the platform. And the coolest thing he did was the effect that sea water spills out from behind the side wall in waves with foam. There is a man enters the hangar and he was on the coast of Nids. And most importantly, he launched the light of the day there, making a roof of glass. Because without daylight it would not look realistic. Any daylight enlivens real emotions. Wow! And of course, people got into such sensation, in such an entourage. They felt this collection deeper. Because people in a harmonious atmosphere begin to feel and hear themselves. So... I hope I helped open this topic. What is when the house charges you with energy? How this cycle works within the space? How it works for you? And how it awakens for sciences? See you. Thank you for your attention.